Hello, I am the Delta, and today I'll be reviewing the Micro Machines Starships Enterprise. Uh, starting off with NCC 1701, then the Enterprise A, then the Enterprise B, then the Enterprise C, and then the Enterprise D. Now that's out of the way, let's move on to the review. Okay, now we are under review of the Starship Enterprise <laughs> NTC 1701 Constitution Class uh, 21 decks and a crew complement of 430, I think? Now, um... Oh, dogs. The Enterprise itself is a very nice piece of my collection, although the paint for the REM scoop seems to have actually gone into the actual nacelle structure, but it uh, can't, can't have, have everything. You can actually see the name and reg re registry of Enterprise here and the uh, paint of Enterprise namely the um, little Um, namely the little app along the star drive section and the nacelles are very nice additions to it and I ordered this off of eBay so I got it second hand and one of the, one of the nacelles is um, slightly warped but um you can actually see some sort of plating along the saucer section, I think. No, yes, no, probably not. Probably not. Um, but it's a very nice piece of my collection, and I'm really glad to have it. Um, when I first became interested in Star Trek, I wasn't overly interested in the original series, so, as I thought it wouldn't have been needed, but as I went on liking Star Trek, I became interested in the original series and I've watched a couple of episodes of it on YouTube, and when I, my sister put me on Netflix, I started, I started watching it, um, there. And um, I actually really like Constitution Class Enterprise because it's actually it's actually rather nice to look at. Okay, this is, review is done. Let's move on to the Enterprise A. Here we go. The USS Enterprise A. Um, Constitution class refit. Um, again, 21 decks. Captain by James Tiberius Kirk. Until her decommissioning. Um, formerly the USS Yorktown. This Enterprise also has a bit more of a sleeker look to it. As the nacelle or pylons, are, pylons are swept back. And, um, the neck is, goes up, then, in, um, out. Um, I like the other Enterprise, this is a blue colour, and 
if you look carefully, you can actually see the plating on the Enterprise. The cells are the entire thing is one solid on a piece with paint on it. If you look here, you can actually see the name and registry of Enterprise. Same in as in on the underneath. Yep. And like the other Enterprise, I actually really like it. It also has a paint up location on its side. So if you get the on it properly, you probably can't see that. But okay. <clears throat> and I kinda like this Enterprise. It look it looks more advanced than the other Enterprise, and it's also somewhat attractive looking. Of course, this was commissioned after Kurt decided to blow up the other Enterprise, which is probably very insulting towards that Enterprise. But what can you do? Anyway, <clears throat> let's move on to the Enterprise B. USS Enterprise B, Excelsior class, um, I think it has near, or just over 30, 30 decks, I'm not sure, <coughs> I don't actually know the um, deck number of the Excelsior class, although, <coughs> the Enterprise B was commissioned after the decommissioning of the Enterprise A and um, this is one of my favourite Enterprises um, alongside, I, alongside the Sovereign class Enterprise E um, again I like the, the, the other two I ordered it off eBay so I got it second hand but the the cells, unlike the other two, are straight. <coughs> or straightish. Um, this Enterprise, for all the primary reality, is actually rather different from the others because its um, rum scoop was blue. Um, you can see. Uh, at least two shuttle bays from the back, the thrusters, and whatever these are. Um, this ship ha is white and ha has some blue rings, well, has some blue paint taps, namely on the saucer, engineering in hull, which is the star drive section, and the nacelles. Also has the Starfleet insignia. There and uh, here, by the looks of it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can. There is some Aztec like isk plating on this Enterprise, and um. As I said, I really like this Enterprise. Words cannot sum up how much I like it. And now it won't stay on the thing. Oh, uh, yes, well. Um. <clears throat> I don't know the fate of this Enterprise, unlike the others. The NX01 being decommissioned, the original being destroyed. The A being decommissioned, the C being destroyed, the D being destroyed, and I think the E either being destroyed or decommissioned. But this one just vanished. And I think that's why I like it. It has this um, quality to it of no one knows what the hell happened to it. 
Um. Uh, but that's enough for this Enterprise. Let's move on to the Enterprise C. The USS Enterprise C. Ambassador class. Um, slightly bigger than an Excelsior, slightly smaller than a Galaxy. That is all I can tell you because I've no idea how many decks this has. Um, like the others, I bought it off eBay, and um, as you can see, the, the cells are slightly warped and a bit wobbly for some reason. <clears throat> and you can actually see some Aztec like painting on the hull of the Enterprise C. And you can also see the name and registry here. Same on the other side, on the bottom of the saucer. Um, <clears throat> the nacelles aren't particularly accurate, namely the ram scoop, which instead of um, being a, a red ball thing, or red dome, it's more like the, Yama the Yamagachi variant. <clears throat> But, um, I actually rather like this ship, mainly because it was destroyed, but pff, I actually think it's alright. It's not my, f my favourite, like the um, Enterprise B is, but um, <laughs> I really like it. The Aztec like plating is all across the ship. The deflector for some reason is red. No idea why. And you probably can't see that, so let me help you. Eagle see red. The phases are pretty much the same as always. But other than that. It's a rather nice ship. Now, let's move on to the Enterprise D. What was it the card said? Let's see what this Galaxy Class Starship can do. Well, I've already seen what it can do, and I am very impressed. <coughs> This is the Star Trek Generations version of the Enterprise D. Star Trek Generations being the one where the Enterprise D was destroyed, but um, I personally think the ship is rather accurate. The nacelles are really well done, as is the deflector, and the source of separation is a very nice addition to it. I also like the phaser arrays, however, the name and registry of the ship aren't, aren't easily distinguishable, given the fact that they are very small. And it's the same for the other side of the saucer. Uh, there's an Aztec plating moulded into the Enterprise, and it's all over the ship. But the cells are incredibly accurate. And the source of separation is an incredibly nice addition. I've always wanted to what? Oh, it's right. I could fly the Enterprise. Eyes down onto the surface of Viridian 3. <laughs> um, when I first, this, the Star Trek The Next Generation, that was the first Star Trek I'd ever seen. And that, this, was my Enterprise. Although, it's 
incredibly nice to look at, but the Enterprise E actually kind of trumps it. Tell me what you think of the. Uh, tell me what you think of the Enterprises in the comment section down below, and which Enterprise is your favourite? Okay, we have now reached the end of the review, so like, subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. See ya!